Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We say shalom and welcome to our live stream Sunday service here at Logos Apostolic Church. And we are so glad that you could join us today. Amen. And if you're joining us for the very first time, shalom and welcome. We're glad that you're able to join us in worship and we welcome you into our, our family today. Amen. We also want to take this time to just thank all those uh, essential workers. I know that we have a few essential workers that are a part of the Locust family and all of the essential workers within the city and the various cities around Toronto. We just want to say a special thank you for all your hard work and dedication. And we just want you to know that we recognize you today. Amen. Praise God. We're going to go into a time of worship. So wherever you are, I want you to worship with us. Amen. We are going to lift up the name of Jesus because he alone is worthy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We bless your name, Jesus. We magnify you and exalt you. You are worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, your name will be praised. Hallelujah. your name thank you Jesus you are worthy hallelujah we speak well of you this morning we speak well of you this morning God for we know that you are a God who sees you are a God who cares and you are a God who understands hallelujah thank you Jesus you are our strength God hallelujah Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name. We bless your name. We lift up a praise to you, Jesus. 
We lift up a praise to you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Abba Father, we bless your name.
response is hallelujah my response is hallelujah my response is hallelujah God, there is no one like him. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. It is such an honor and a privilege to be here in the land of the living. Amen. And usually on our first Sundays, we recognize uh, the birthdays in that month. And we haven't been able to do that. And we don't want to go away from the customs and the things that make Logos Apostolic Special, amen. So we just want to wish everyone in the month of April and May a happy, happy birthday, amen. And may God continue to bless you and keep you. Praise God, amen. At this time, we're going to welcome our pastor to come. It is time for the word, amen. I know that you're excited for the word. I'm excited to hear what the Lord has in store for his people. Praise God. So at this time, we're going to invite our pastor to come. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And thank you, Sister Lisa. Amen. We we'll bless all of you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is indeed a wonderful day. Uh, literally, that is. The sun is brilliant. It has lit up everything. And, uh, and uh, it sends home to me a strong message that uh, a new season has come. I want to greet all of you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for your faithfulness, all oh, you precious people of God. I want to bless you in the name of the Lord, the great household of uh, faith. of the Lord Jesus. Our brothers and sisters who are committed to this ministry who do not necessarily physically worship with us but their heart is in this ministry we greet you in the precious name of the Lord Jesus. It 
It is our prayer that the Lord will continue to make you a blessing. Amen. And uh, as Sister Lisa had mentioned, we want to uh, say happy birthday to all of those brothers and sisters who would have been uh, recognized and acknowledged today uh, on their birth dates. But uh, it is not possible, but we thank God for you in Jesus' name. It is our prayer that the Lord, the living one, Hayam himself, will continue to make you a blessing that he will abundantly bless you and look after you and give you many, many more birthdays to come. Praise the Lord. And uh, I want to thank God for all of our sins of Lagos. You've been doing well and I'm hoping and praying that you will continue to do better in encouraging yourself and encouraging others so that we can continue our uh, online Bible study and prayer meeting. I find that it's also uh, enriching so please continue tell others about it in Jesus name uh, we also want to strike a note of uh, great gratitude and appreciation I have always looked at uh, crisis as opportunity that's why I never go crazy in time of crisis. I never, a crisis, a cri crisis does not intoxicate me. <laughs> because you don't, you don't do well when you are intoxicated. Especially, uh, and, and if we can use the example of a, a drunk man, someone who is intoxicated with uh, alcohol, he staggers and, uh, and, and talk and nonsense and rumble and all that kind of nonsense. So I, I, I thought that I give thanks to God that I am not wired to be uh, fearful in time of crisis. And I want to thank all the family of Logos for your faithfulness, for your love, for this ministry. Indeed, uh, this is the time that uh, it is made obvious, it is made known. This is the time you tell the men from the boys and the women from the girls. <laughs> This is a time when you can tell the who, who is who. So, but I am impressed that uh, you've been holding your ground in terms of your devotion to God and your uh, financial responsibility. Praise God. Amen. So we're going to continue to trust God and believe that when this thing is over, we're going to be coming out of it strong. <laughs> Glory to God. That's my prayer. We're going to be coming out of it strong financially. We're going to be coming out of it strong spiritually. We're going to be coming out of it strong without losing anyone not losing anyone praise God uh, because it is pathetic uh, currently as you may know uh, 
that uh, that uh, this is not the best time to die. So please tell your if any you know anybody in Lord God who wants to die, tell them to hold off. <laughs> tell them to hold off a little longer. This is not the best time to die. And of course, seriously, I've been praying that prayer. I said, oh, God, at one point I got concerned and so concerned that I had to pray this prayer. And it had to do with Sister Vida. I said, Lord God, even if you're going to take her, please don't take her now. Amen. Because she told me uh, some time ago when that day come for her, she want a hot, hot uh, home going service and I envision Sister Lisa Brother Kamar being a hot hot up here so all that picture is in my mind so I told God God please even if you want even if it is time please don't 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 now I beg you please don't now hallelujah and uh, and uh, on that note, I'm happy to report to you that uh, she made a turnaround. And she made, um, I mean, an amazing turnaround. And uh, I was talking to her yesterday. And she has, she has some people so ingrained in her mind. <laughs> now she, she came into her right one and she said, uh, uh, where is Brother Danny? Where is Clotus? Uh, where is uh, Sister Dale? <laughs> so, I, it so happened that I was speaking to her on the phone. So when she started calling these people, I said, okay. I took the phone, the other phone, and called Brother Danny. <laughs> I said, Brother Danny, I have someone on the phone here who's asking for you. <laughs> so Brother Danny, Sister Dale, and Sister and Brother Clutters were able to talk to her. And she can't help it. She says she want to come home. But uh, in time, in time, praise God. Hallelujah. So that's a good... Uh, no, that. Praise God. So we thank God for his uh, manifold blessings and his mercy and loving kindness and compassion. So, uh, yeah, yes, uh, I, 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 I am in a firm position now that, uh, that uh, no one is going to be left behind in this uh, COVID-19 atmosphere. I want to be able to Praise the Lord and walk around and shake everyone's hand physically. Praise God. On that day when this whole thing is over. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. We don't want to leave anyone behind, brothers and sisters, because it won't be a nice burial. Not at all. Praise God. And... Uh, I trust that uh, all of you are doing wonderfully. And if you know anyone who is not feeling well, make it known so that in our prayer sessions, we can uh, bring that person before the Lord. And because we are of the conviction that God is still in control, we are indeed persuaded that God he rules in the affairs of man. We are, hallelujah, most definitely confident that he sees and he knows everything that's going on. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. So let us continue to trust God. Let us continue to believe God. Let us continue to lean on God. And let us continue to love God. And in so doing, we will love one another. I would like to draw your attention to a 
passage of scripture, I've been trying to shake it off, but they won't leave me. So then that means it is the scripture, scripture of suit that God has placed on me that I must appear in today. And so uh, I want to do just that. In the book of Zechariah, mm -hmm. Zechariah chapter one. There are two verses. There are two verses. The two verses will be verses 18 and 19. And after we read those two verses in the book of Zechariah, in the Old Testament, then we will go to 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and I will read a couple of verses from there too. But let's start with Zechariah. Then I lifted then I then lifted I up my eyes. And saw I saw something. And behold, four horns. I lifted my eyes and saw, and behold, four horns. I saw four horns. Yes. Verse 19, and I said unto the angel that talked with me, that is the interpreter, the interpreting angel. <laughs> there are some things that the human mind cannot conceive or understand or wrap his mind around without angelic explanation or interpretation. And I said unto the angel that talked with me, what be these? Or what are these? What are these? He's seeing something else. The prophet is seeing something else. I saw four horns earlier in verse 18. And now, and now in 19, I'm seeing something else. Tell me, angel, what's up? What are these? And he answered me, these are the horns which have scattered, scattered Judah. Scattered. Separate them and scatter them. They scatter Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. I would like. For us to also consider in the New Testament, Second Corinthians chapter four, let's start from verse seven. 
But we have this treasure in earthen vessels. We have this treasure in earthen vessels. That the excellency of the power may be of God. Hey! Woo! <laughs> Treasure in earthen vessel. <laughs> oh my God, you're so wonderful. And that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. Mm -hmm. Keep me going, son. We are troubled. We are troubled. Circumstances happen to us and causes us to be causes uh, cause us to be troubled on every side but guess what <laughs> yet not distressed mm -hmm. we are perplexed perplexed many uh, so box in and so uh, method account of you don't know which way to turn what to do you are perplexed but guess what not in despair mm -hmm. persecuted persecuted oh yes but not forsaken cast down Cast down. <laughs> Is anybody cast down? Uh, I would like to make a deal with you. If anything gonna cast you down when you are being cast down, please land on your back and not on your face. <laughs> Woo! Because if you land on your face, there is no hope. You're done. But if you land on your back, you can look up onto the what? Onto the hills. Oh, my God. Cast down, but not destroy. Let us breathe a word of prayer. Father, in Jesus' name, you have made all things beautiful. And since we were made in your image and in your likeness, since all things were beautiful and glorious and magnificent until sin came into the picture, we are now, O oh God, suffering from the ravages of sins and degradation of sin. And so your word makes it clear that we have fallen from glory. And the state now that we are in has made us, oh God, to be susceptible to all kinds of calamity, all kinds of diseases, and all kinds of sicknesses. But, oh God, because of your royal love, you have proven yourself to be the healer. On the behalf of them who have turned to you in total surrender. So now we are begging you to remember us, oh God. We need you, oh God. We desperately need you. If we ever needed you, Lord, we need you now so that we can stand and stand strong so the Lord God we can come out on the other end and come up strong so Lord Jesus we can see the power and the glory of God 
I once again making this appeal to you on the basis of your word. And I have no shame face because it is on the basis of your word. For it is written that by your strap we are healed. For it is declared that you were wounded for our transgressions. You were bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon you. And by your strength we are healed. Now, oh God, hallelujah. That's your word. And I come to you. With this petition on the basis of your word, that the sick among us, our prayer will be visited by the angel of Lagos. Yeah, and the anointing, hallelujah, the anointing, the healing power that flows from the wounds, hallelujah, from the stripes that you took will be. Dear healing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We want to say thank you for the sinians among us. And we're asking you to keep your eyes on them. We are thanking you for the young people among us. And we're asking you, Lord Jesus, to fix your attention on them. We are asking you, Lord God Almighty, that you will remember, Lord Jesus, the children, our little ones. And that your eyes will be fixed on them. And that you will bring them out all right. We pray for our friends, our brothers and sisters, and all the were witches, and those who have always and never failed to lend moral support to this ministry. We pray for them, Lord God, that your anointing and your protective eye will watch over them. And that a day will come when we'll always celebrate and give you glory and praise. For your manifold blessings to the glory of God. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise God. I would like to use for my subject today, God permitting, scattered but not destroyed. Scattered but not destroyed. The, the words scattered can be a nice word depending on the context. Uh, because, for example, the sower has to go and scatter. Or spread the seed. That's a good context. And it becomes, you know. But when it comes to uh, it comes to uh, a setting. A level where people are living together harmoniously and they are families living in solidarity, living in 
tranquility, living in peace and calmness. For something to come and scatter them, then the word does not make good. And it's not in the positive sense. Because it has just done something bad, something harmful to a thing that was cohesive, a thing that was operating in solidarity, a thing that was a unit. So, sometimes, some of you who are uh, individuals who love nature, in the wild life, the beasts, the animals, you will see maybe a bunch of uh, buffaloes. A unit, a family, a, a, a host of her, her. And, uh, and uh, you have predators like the lions or the cheetahs or the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the wild dogs. So in this case, let's say the lion as a predator. Now. Once those family, the, 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 the herd, the buffalo are together as a unit, they are strong. <laughs> uh, and the, the young ones are protected because uh, usually um, they, they, they have the young ones very, very, very in the inner circle. So, mommy or daddy is saying, well, if anything has got to hit me before it hit my little one. So, I'm trying to bring home the positive usage and the negative uses of the use of the word scatter. The lions then will do something. And what they will do is drive panic. And the herd the, 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 of buffalo better make sure that they don't scatter. Because as soon as they scatter, guess what? They're giving the lions the upper hand. But once they are, they are together, the lion will never ever be able to. So then, brothers and sisters, if, 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 for example, for example, oh, I'm limited. Pardon me, I'm limited. But anyhow, just imagine. Imagine Pastor Noah is holding uh, the uh, seven pieces of uh, sticks. And the seven pieces of sticks, hallelujah, they are bundled together. Bundled together. Now imagine Pastor Noah tried to break those seven pieces of stick. Uh, even imagine the drumsticks, seven of them together, and Pastor Noah trying to break them. He will have the most difficult time what breaking them. But scatter those drum, the drumsticks, meaning separate them and throw one there, throw one there. I just walk to that one. I just grab it, grab it. But together. So I want you to know, my good brothers and sisters, that, 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 that once the unit remains strong, together we are strong. Together we can, we can, we can topple 
situations, conditions, and calamities. But when we are divided, hallelujah, meaning everyone, this one is doing his own, that one is doing his own, then um, we leave our door of protection dangerously open for the enemy. But brothers and sisters, let's continue. I don't want to bore you, but I want to make my point and make it clear. Now, the buffalo and the lion illustration, who is the enemy? I will assume that your good uh, thinking capacity your ability, your deductive ability will automatically lead you to the fact that the lion is the enemy. Because the lion is trying to kill, to eat. <laughs> oh, Lord. So then, whenever anything Hits a family. Hits a unit. Hits something that is standing in solidarity. For that thing to scatter. Then the thing that causes it to scatter becomes its enemy. Amen. But God is saying to his people as he said back then so he is saying now because it is applicable the principle is applicable the law is applicable God is saying I want my people to know Zachariah I'm going to show you exactly what's going on and I want you to know the vision of this good prophet. It was in, hallelujah, it was in, in the day. It was a vision of the night. Hallelujah. Communication, effective communication. Instruction in the midnight hour. God has a way of making things known while man sleep. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Praise the name of God. God will reveal some things to you when men are sleeping. Because that's the time, hallelujah, it becomes uh, uh, conducive. It becomes so, uh, 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 um, what is the word? Lord, help me today. When it becomes productive for him to do so. Thank you, Jesus. So, he, he was at night. And then God said, I'm going to make it clear. I'm going to tell you, not only tell you, but show you what's happening to my people. And then God opened the eyes of the prophet. And when the prophet looked, he sees four horns. Four, four horns. Hallelujah. Now, what did God show him? Four vibrant, energetic, strong, raw horns. Why? Because horns represent strength, brute strength. Now imagine the ox. The ox is known for its brute strength. And I don't know, oh, God help me. Lord, hallelujah. And, uh, and the, um, the, uh, the ox uh, will hit something with the head. Uh, that's something that the ox can do with the horn. You ever try to do that with your head, you're done. <laughs> but the strength, I mean, raw brute strength is in the horn of the ox. Have you, oh my goodness, son, thank you, Jesus. 
understand that sometimes certain illustrations are hard to bring to light because uh, some of you are too much Canadian. Hallelujah. <laughs> uh, you haven't seen two, uh, two cows fighting, bulls, two bulls fighting. Hallelujah. You haven't seen that. <laughs> and then they will go back and go back and go back and walk back and walk back and come with speed at one another. Yakoo! With their heads, their horns. Sometimes the fight can be deadly, brothers and sisters, so brutal until the horn breaks. And when the horn breaks, that's it for that cow or for that ox. It cannot fight again because the potential, the power is in the horns. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus. And so God is showing the prophet the enemies of his people, the enemy of the church. Now, the enemy of the church is strong. That's why you don't play. <laughs> That's why the ox, I mean, the horns represent, the horns represent strength. So I want you to know the enemy of the church is strong. Hallelujah. And if you're going to come against him, you better be stronger. Amen. Because Jesus makes that clear. <laughs> Jesus said, you cannot plunder a strong man's property or belongings until a stronger man. You've got to be stronger than him. <laughs> Praise the Lord. How can I go to Brother O'Neill's place and try to take his belonging? <laughs> Praise God. I better make sure that I'm stronger than him. So when he rise up, rises up against me, I can knock him out. <laughs> but if he is stronger than me, he will crush me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody shout amen. Amen. So, so God is revealing. He said the four horns, Zechariah, that I'm showing you are the four enemy. The four enemy that have kept you in poverty. The four enemy that have kept you in, uh, in isolation. The four enemies that have not allowed you to reach your God-given potential. These four enemies are always being your enemy. They are the one that plaguing you. They won't let you prosper. They won't let you rise. They won't let you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prevail. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. So these four enemies, my brothers, have kept us in poverty. These four enemies have kept us away from our, uh, our, our, our godly blessings. These four enemies have sat on us for a long time. Every time you want to get up, these enemies will sit on you. Hallelujah. Every time you try to do something worthwhile, these enemies will come and then sit on you. Every time God gives you an idea and you decide to implement that idea, the enemy comes and sits on you. And when he sits on you, that's the end of the idea. Praise God. Every time the Lord draws you to himself and you start having a good time in the Lord and you start praising God and you start doing godly things then the enemy comes and sits on you praise God and because he is stronger than you are that's the end of that journey but oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. God saw the 
people. God saw his people that his people has been scattered for a long time. The Lord allowed the enemy to scatter his people. But one thing God did not allow. He did not allow the enemy to destroy his people. So you can be scattered. That is all right. While being scattered, you're going to feel some pain. While scattered, you're going to be in isolation. While scattered, you're going to, hallelujah, not get to see, to know some things. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. I have a little long, a little bit longer to go, brother. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Because we are scattered. Hallelujah. We feel some pains. But God said, You have been scattered by the enemy. But I will not let the enemy what? Kill you. You have been scattered. But the enemy will not destroy you. you you have been scattered but the enemy will not defeat you you have been scattered but the enemy will not crush you you have been scattered but the enemy will not snatch your life out of you hallelujah oh, Lord, in the name of jesus praise the lord well lord you just show me four horns and he just told me what these horns are doing Went to your people now, Lord. What are you gonna do about the horns? <laughs> Hallelujah! Let's start dancing before God tells us what He's gonna do about the horns. Praise the Lord! Then, in verse 19, in verse 18, there we see the four horns, the enemy. In verse 19. We see four horns, another four horns. Glory to God. Praise God. We see, we see rather four. We see the enemy also in verse 19. And against the enemy, the prophet sees four smiths. Four smiths. Hallelujah, my God. Four smiths. Or maybe we should say blacksmiths. Oh, Lord Jesus. I want to explain this thing. But I wonder if my Canadian brothers and sisters will get it. Hallelujah. Oh, of course. Oh, Lord Jesus. They are sometimes called blacksmiths. Blacksmith. They mostly work with metals. Metal, iron. Praise God. But in our text, the word can also be used as a carpenter. A smith can also be a carpenter. But but the main function of, of a smith is, uh, is in iron. Oh, hallelujah. Now, I remember some years ago when I was a boy. Uh -huh. Back home in those little village, brothers and sisters, there was the 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 the, 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 the old folks did not have technology. Uh -huh. Everything was the elementary level. Everything was in the cruel state. Praise the Lord and the blacksmith will get his coals hallelujah and he will get a, a, a device something was device hallelujah 
and there were pipes and 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 on the right hand and on the left hand and the left hand and on the right hand and there were uh, 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 something like cloths oh my god I wish I'm explaining so when they press down like this it go and then the fire is so when they press down the air uh, the air that, that, that is compressed by by pushing it down it goes through the pipe and it blows into the the coals and the coals keep burning and they have the iron in the coals and they go and the, the, the iron becomes red hot red hot in the cold hallelujah and then he would take a thong and grab the piece of iron that uh, that he has in the fire and and and, and he he, he has in his mind what he's making maybe he want to make a cutlass maybe he wants to make an axe hallelujah and then he would take his hammer and, and they take the hot, red hot uh, 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 metal and place it on a solid piece of uh, uh, element and then take his hammer and beat on it and beat on it and beat on it he beating it into a shape that he desire <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I hope that will help you. Thank God. So God is seen in verse 19. The, the four smiths have come to beat. To beat down the four enemy. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, four smiths are here. The four smiths are here. Or to make it clearer, say the four blacksmiths are here. And their work is to beat down the four enemy. <laughs> They're going to beat them. Hallelujah. And as they beat them, just like the, the example that I gave you, God now is going to shift things. God now is going to change things around. And he's going to use the instrumentality of the four smiths. Somebody said, thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Do you remember last week that I told you that the enemy was driving fear into the parts of the people of God? Do you remember our subject last week was terror in the evening? But in the morning, the enemy is no more. <laughs> yes, sir, Lord. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. So now, brothers and sisters, the God is going to turn the tables guess what we are not going to be facing terror again guess who's going to be facing terror the enemy let's terrorize them praise God praise God take me back take me back to uh, to 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 and uh, to Zechariah chapter 1 to verse take me back to verse uh, verse 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 19 I want you to get the picture hallelujah now it is our time to terrorize the enemy <laughs> praise God praise God last week God made it clear that uh, he was terrorizing us and it was a season to terrorize us it was a season to trouble us it was a season to drive panic into us but the table has turned the table has turned the table Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, bring me down. 
bring me down to 20 bring me down to 20 yes there's are the four he showed me four uh, carpenters praise God yes 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 <laughs> then 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 we down and into 21 then said I come what come these to do <laughs> Oh, King James. What come these to do? Meaning the four blacksmiths. What are they going to do? What are they? <laughs> God, you are amazing. Now the interpreting angel is going to tell Zachariah. Hallelujah. Exactly what I'm trying to tell you. Uh, and he speaks saying these are the horns which have scattered Judah so that no man lifted up his head you remember I was telling you every time you wanted to lift up your head the enemy will shit on you every time you want to do anything worth thy the enemy will sit on you anytime you had an idea from God the enemy will Oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. But then Zechariah said, he said, uh, but then, uh, yes, I know that. I know that. Because you told me in verse 18. But I see something else. And what else do I see? He said, but these are come. But these are come. And then the four smiths now, reference to the four smith. The four smiths have come. Hallelujah. To to free. To free them. <laughs> you remember the example I gave you about a blacksmith? <laughs> to beat them with the hammer. <laughs> to them and who can stand the weight of the hammer of the Lord? Hallelujah! Ah, mm, ah. He they to beat them now in that word, friend. There we also find the word terrify. <laughs> so, man. so now instead of the enemy terrifying us, we now going to what terrify the enemy. <laughs> Oh my God, trouble is in trouble. <laughs> I said trouble is in trouble now. Trouble, you've been harassing me for a long time, but you are now in trouble. Turn to your neighbor and say trouble. You are now in trouble. You thought you could not be in trouble. You thought you were on but God said, you are not. You are in trouble. Trouble is in trouble. Praise God. Hallelujah. So now, oh man, I like when the children say, nah, 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 nah. Now you think you thought you had the upper hand, but the table has turned. God now has put me in charge. Hallelujah. Instead of you terrorizing me, God has given me instruments. Hallelujah. Devices to turn on you, to terrify you. I'm brothers and sisters. Praise God. How does God achieve this purpose of the four smith? Praise God. Well, then we will go to the scripture. And then we will go to, uh, we can also learn from secular history. There was a fellow by the name of Nebo Po. Lisa. Nimbo Polesa was the father of Nebuchadnezzar. Well, that name rings a bell. Everyone here knows the king Nebuchadnezzar. Uh, the dead, the king. Hallelujah. The king, the one who are considered king of kings. The untouchable. You know Nebuchadnezzar. But it was, it was his father. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Nimbo Poleza. Who brought Assyria to the niche? 
<laughs> the Assyria Empire, the Assyria Empire was dealt a dead blow by Nimbopolesa, the father of Nebuchadnezzar. Hallelujah. One horn, the one enemy, one of the horns that was terrifying, that was terrifying the people of God was Assyria, the Assyria Empire. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. But there was a Counter action, a counter action, a counter action. Praise the Lord uh, to take care of the of the Assyrians. And Nambo Polesar, God used him to take care of uh, the Assyrian empire praise god so brothers and sisters whatever you're going through whatever the first horn is god gonna send a smith god gonna send somebody that is going to top with it let's look at the second the second the second horn the second horn brothers and sisters that disturb and terrorize the people of God was hallelujah Babylon you remember Babylon hallelujah you remember Nebuchadnezzar hallelujah the Babylonian empire praise God the Babylonian empire was so sophisticated was so powerful was so strong that brothers and sisters history tells us that the wars of Babylon were so broad and wide that four horses could run on the top of the walls four horses one two three four they could run on the top of the wall hallelujah Babylon the great and so Babylon thought she was impregnable no enemy could touch her but oh Babylon you made a mistake when you touch the people of God God now is going to touch you hallelujah and he's going to touch you to your ruin Lord, help me, help me, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Babylon was so strong with a brute power. Babylon was so strong with a brute might. Babylon was so mighty that every nation and every kingdom and every language and every people and every tongue had to bow and to Babylon. My God have mercy. And Babylon rose to the pinnacle of pride. Thank you, Jesus. And 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 then she kept afflicting the people of God. But I want you to know you may be scattered, but you not destroyed. And Lord, the enemy may have scattered you, but you're not gonna be destroyed. Hallelujah. And guess who God used to contract? Hallelujah, the boot might of Babylon against his people God rose up and called a man by his name the name of the man was Cyrus he said Cyrus I'm going to use you hallelujah Cyrus I'm going to hold your hand Cyrus I'm going to make Lee gates open before you Sarah, I'm going to show you hidden riches, the riches of darkness. 
darkness I'm going to show you I will take you by my hand hallelujah and I will you will be my servant thank you Lord praise the Lord now is my time you were laughing at me it is now my time to laugh because God praise God Sarah said have made me to laugh so that every man and every woman who hears of me may laugh with me thank you Jesus hallelujah thank you Lord it was thought impossible for any outside invader to conquer Babylon but guess what God was holding Sarah's hand and Sarah's devised a methodology a method that was so ingenious that was so clever that was so wise praise God the penetrated the waterway that ran through that ran into the city and under the wall they stopped the water and then you the water channel as a tube for them to go and enter the city oh my god hallelujah when Cyrus entered the city he toppled Babylon and the earth shook because it was thought it could not be done and Cyrus was about 60 62 years old hallelujah the second hand the second horn the second enemy is taken care of now let's go to the third one oh Lord help me Jesus help me help me help me help me help me the third horn hallelujah was the Persians glory to God the Persian Empire Lord God and then the person that God used to contract hallelujah praise the Lord on them was Alexander the Great Alexander the Great Alexander the Great a young boy hallelujah he, oh man I wish I had time Lord help me I had time I wish I had time and I would tell you the story of this young boy uh, uh, Alexander the Great hallelujah well, anyways let me whet your appetite I will just whet your appetite I will not go too deep into it one day I will tell the whole story hallelujah mm -hmm. his father his father uh, his father was uh, um, the, 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 the king and, and, and the man of uh, the region, Macedonia, and, uh, and his daughter here for Philippi and all those uh, places, uh, Philip. And, uh, and the father had a horse, a wild horse. Oh, man. And the father, there was something about this horse. Um, and so and the father tried to ride the horse and the horse will not allow the father to ride it and, and, and the father did all that he could to ride this house the ride the horse but the horse will not cooperate and so one day uh, Alexander the great father uh, the great his father and his friends were in the field and uh, and and, uh, and and Alexander's father told his friends about the horse and they said oh yes we want to see it and they too tried to ride the horse but the horse won <laughs> And then little Alexander, he came and stood by his father. He said, oh, I wish that uh, my father would let me ride his house, this horse. Praise God. And his father's anger was kindled because the horse had just humiliated him. And the horse had just humiliated his friends. And the horse has humiliated everyone else. And this little boy has the audacity to tell his father that... Uh, please I wish you could let me ride this horse the father reluctantly let Alexander Alexander mounted that horse 
cross. Hallelujah. And grab onto the strings. And he took off relentlessly with the horse. In great amazement. Hallelujah. The father mouth flat open as to what? Praise God. Alexander. You remember now the boy, he died at age 30, 30, 30 something, I think 32, if my memory serves me right. So he's a very, very, very young man. And that, this, this is before he expired to his career as a conqueror. And so uh, when he came back with the horse, the father looked at him with a smile and admiration in his eyes. He said, My son. Macedonian is too small for you. Many this kingdom is too small for you. Go out and find yourself a kingdom. Not knowing he was prophesying. <laughs> Praise God. Anyway, that just to whip your appetite. And then, and then, and then uh, shortly there after, uh, Alexander the Great started his military career. And he conquered the whole known world. Including Egypt. <laughs> so God used Alexander the Great as the third smith, the third device to crush those the enemies that, that were against the people of God. The last smith. The last smith was a fellow called Polymy. Polymy. Polymy claimed to render himself as the master of Egypt. So God took care of what? The four horns that scatter his people. And he used four contracting forces, four smiths, to beat them and draft terror in them. Now, brothers and sisters, the Bible talks about the word of God being like a hammer. That's why now we need to take the hammer of the word of God <laughs> as this, as smiths and beat and beat and beat whatever enemy. Hallelujah. Drive terror every time you take the hammer of the word and you speak it, it drives terror into the enemy. So then the table, turn to your neighbor, say the table have turned. Hallelujah. You're not going to terrify me anymore. You had the opportunity, you were in your season, you scattered me. Yes, but now this is my season. <laughs> turn to your neighbor, say this is my season. This is my season. This is my season. I want to thank God today. I may have been scattered, but I wasn't destroyed. I may have been perplexed, but not in despair. I may have been lonely, but I wasn't forgotten. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name. God brought me now, God fought my battle, God fought my battle, God fought my battle. The enemy thought I would have been dead, but God, God brought me out. Yes, yes. Yes, sir. So I want you to know whatever you're going through, I want you to know this is now your season to sit on the devil. Hallelujah. 
this is now your season to make him your first two make him your first two make him your first two hallelujah you remember the time he suffered you it is now your time to suffer him praise god you remember the time he bound you this is your time to bind him you remember the time he won't let you go hallelujah oh lord hallelujah hallelujah oh i'm done but i want to sing a song hallelujah i don't know praise god you won't catch me again you won't catch me again you have been bound for the very long time i wanted to go but you wouldn't let me go now i'm free now you're running after me Come on, Alicia. Come on, Alicia. Hey, come on. You have me bound for the very. I want to go. You won't catch me again. Yeah, you won't catch me again. You hurt me down for the very long.
hallelujah the Lord be with you and cause his face to shine upon you and give you rest at this time we're gonna stand and greet one another and bless one another as we dismiss in the name of the Lord I'm gonna ask you now to raise your right hand and say after me shalom 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 you will not die you will not die no you will not die by the constitution of the word of god you will not die but live in jesus name Amen.